Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Jordan here. Today, Jose and I have got to do some running around, so we figured we'd bring you with us. Got to go pick up a huge bricklink order. I'm just weaving through pieces here all over the ground. Jose left your little build table out there and there's part bins all over the ground. But we've got to go pick up a huge bricklink order and included in that bricklink order is a bunch of exciting stuff including animals and also some other stuff for the aquarium right there. So we will be uh, putting some animals in the aquarium in, during this vlog as well. So that's exciting. Also, uh, we're going to be out and about running around Edmonton. So I'm sure we'll uh, find some other stuff to do. It's just sort of like another errand day and oh, I've got so much stuff to do. It's going to be exhausting. Actually, today, I started the day off by uh, announcing the Daily Bugle at uh, 7 a.m. So I've been up at it uh, quite early here today. And it's going to be quite an accomplished day. And we are going to uh, vlog it in this little vlog style video. So let's get started. First things first, making some breakfast here. Some eggs. Some classic Canadian back bacon. Making some breakfast sandwiches. Beauty. Smoldering hot coffee and a delicious breakfast sandwich. All right, so we're starting our journey here after that delicious breakfast. The first thing that we're doing is actually going to a framing store because we got these Thomas Kincaid photos back here behind me, all sorts of Disney ones. And the issue is, is all the strings on them or the, the wire on the back, they're all different lengths. And we've got six of them and we want to hang them in like a grid. But because the wire is all different lengths and the the frames in the back are all different thicknesses we have to go to the frame store because it's really hard for us to hang them in a straight grid pattern if all the wires are different lengths because we have to put the hooks at different heights and it's going to be off by a quarter inch half inch eighth of an inch there and it's just going to drive us crazy so we phoned the place that framed them and they're actually going to fix the problem for us by rewiring all of the pictures so that's the first stop of our busy day adventure here, but it's exciting because eventually we're gonna get all those Thomas Kincaid framed canvases and a nice grid above the couch. It's like sort of something else that we collect above and beyond Lego. So we're here at the frame shop and we're getting these all fixed up, which is awesome. Check this out. So these are the Thomas Kincaid canvases that Jose and I love so much. We even do superheroes. There's so many different Disney ones here. Ones that Jose would love to get, I'm sure. Some of which we already have. Oh, I like that one. That's the one we have, right? Yes. Bambi. There's uh, Mickey. Some cool ones in here. I want them all. You want them all? <laughs> I don't think we can make that happen. Oh, I like this one. Lion King. That one's cool. Snow White. Lady in the Trail. We have this one. That's one of our newer ones. Mm -hmm. We have this one. That was our first one. Yeah, I saw one of those in the other pile there. Hollywood. There's Mickey and Minnie. That's cool. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. Winnie the Pooh. That's cute. Pirates. There's so many here. This is... Now I know why they wanted us to come here to get the frames fixed. Because <laughs> you'd see the whole inventory. <laughs> so this is the only other thing that we really collect. Um, besides Lego, of course. Let's go pull out of the way. And what are those other statues that you got, Josie? Jim Shore. The Jim Shore Disney traditions. We also collect those. We're huge Disney fans, and these yeah. canvases are nice for hanging in your TV room or wherever, entertainment room, if you're a Disney fan. They're pretty classy, right? It's Disney, but classy Disney. And as you can see, there's all sorts of classy stuff in here, in this art gallery. Pretty cool, seeing where the framing happens. Pretty sweet little area. Oh, look at these. There's some more uh, Disney ones in behind me here. 
Hercules and all that. So this is where our journey begins today. So I think these will be the next two that uh, Jose and I get. So we've got Pride Rock, Lion King, and then we also have Aladdin. Really good detail in these Thomas Kincaid canvases. We love them. I like getting these uh, for Jose on like our anniversary, Christmas, birthday, stuff like that. Because she loves them, I love them, and they just look great on the wall. So it's sort of like the uh, Pandora bracelet charms. You can just continuously get more and more of them. So, uh, whoa, he's ripping. So we just uh, finished up doing some stuff at the old rental property there. I had to create a screen after looking at all that uh, cool artwork there. But check out these trains. All the graffiti on the trains. I always like driving by train yards, uh, especially when you're a Lego city builder, Lego train guy. I just think it's pretty cool seeing all the different graffiti on the trains, seeing all the different uh, granola cars, the tank cars, all the different stuff. It's just interesting to see all the different cars, you know? If they could talk, if those train cars could talk, we'd hear quite the story. But now we're on our way to uh, pick up the BrickLink order, uh, which is gonna have a bunch of parts and pieces uh, for our zoo and a bunch of animals for our zoo as well. So we're really excited to pick that up. Uh, so I'll show you what's included in that order. Also, uh, we're looking forward to getting some ice cream. I forget what it is, but it's like rolled up ice cream. It almost reminds me of those, what are those chocolate Swiss rolls or something, Jose? What are those things again? It's scoop and roll. Scoop and roll. So they like layer different things in it. It's almost like marble slab, but they like roll it like a, like a Swiss roll. It's, it's like a frozen slot and they chop it up and then they scoop it and roll it. Yeah. It's fancy. It's fantastic. So let's grab this brick link order on the way on the other side of town here past a beautiful train yard though and then we'll grab some delicious ice cream and uh, check out what's in this brick link order and hopefully start to populate our zoo with some amazing animals we're just waiting for that ice cream shop to open and jose needs a frame for something uh, lego related and you know what look at this and michael's right here star wars build your own adventure you get like the twin pod cloud car oh i forget what it's called the besman guards cloud car oh i was right yeah the cloud car for uh 31.99 you get this nice book here book with exclusive minifigure and exclusive model galactic missions i wonder what the book has inside we also have this one here which is make your own movie get some minifigures, you get a little mini plate, you can make your own movie. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. I don't really collect any of the books or anything like that, but I know, well, I do collect some of the books, but like the encyclopedias and stuff like that. Don't really have any of these like kits that, that play. Oh, look, building ideas include Imperial Walker, TIE Bomber, uh, Gunga Building, speeder and then the docking bay droid interesting i don't know if there's any other uh lego ones there's another one of those star wars ones there don't see anything else there but you never know whenever you're out and about you always come across cool lego things something like this would actually be really convenient because we keep ripping the city apart so for example vehicles they go on my desk trees they go in a bin uh street lamps they go in a bag traffic lights they go in a bag if you had one of these rolling carts that could just be rolled around and then you use you know one bin for street lamps one for vehicles one for all this different stuff these would actually be very convenient when it comes to moving a city around especially if you're like me and you continuously change it i'd probably go with the five drawer one actually maybe the ten drawer one you know because vehicles would probably fit in there that'd actually be a good little thing 40 899 somebody keeps commenting on our videos there i forget the name of, of the person sorry about that but they say to get like the big baking sheet ones and it's sort of a similar concept to this this would also be very good for jose she's always working on detailing the city uh doing things such as coral reef and different flowers and whatnot she's always working on her little side table because i'm always taking up the main desk area there 
where all the park bins are. But this would be very good to use as a swamping thing uh, to temporarily stow parts away and maybe even a building top surface. What's the verdict? Shows, are we getting one? I would say so. You would say so? Okay. All right. So. The boss rules. We're going to get one. All right, we have arrived at our ice cream destination. This is the Scoop and Roll Creamery handcrafted ice cream. Absolutely delicious. We're here about five minutes before it opens up, so it's perfect. Oh, look, they're coming out right now. We're getting ready to get some delicious ice cream. Can't wait to show you guys this amazing cream right here. Okay, she's melting fast, but I got, uh, I think it was coffee or espresso ice cream with brownie and also Oreo. It's pretty cool. The, not Oreo, sorry, caramel. I'm so used to getting an Oreo. I, I got mocha ice cream with brownie and Reese's peanut butter cups with caramel as well. Woo! It's melting now, but you guys saw in that little video there how they roll it on the cold surface. I got to get to eating here before it all melts though. Well, let me tell you, that was absolutely delicious. I liked how it was like rolled up. I probably still got some on my on my face here, but it really added almost like an elevated flavor because the brownie and the caramel was rolled into the espresso ice cream. Hey, Jose? Mm -hmm. It's very yeah. good. Yeah, very good, very good. I, I, I enjoyed it. It cost $8 here in Edmonton. It's uh, right by... Uh, <laughs> Toys R Us, my stomping ground, right? Yeah, we, I've only, like this is our second time, but you can, you saw all the flavors that you could choose from the menu there, like any combination. It's not quite as many combinations as uh, two, two by four bricks going together, but nearly, nearly that many combinations. I don't know. I'm coming up with some weird math here, Lego math. But let's head home. Let's check out what's in that BrickLink order, populate our aquarium, and also set up that cart there. I'm going to show you the masters they left behind and why it was imperative that we got that cart from Michael's. Oh, yeah. So messy. It was. It was a disaster. I've never left the Lego room in that sort of state before, I swear. <laughs> so now we're home from our little road trip excursion there. We got our Thomas Kincaid pictures all fixed up there and ready to hang all right all right i think i'm pretty confident now i've got uh, all the hooks on the wall back here you know 17 inches apart both vertically and horizontally so i hope that works it better i measured twice and put holes in the wall once let's test it out oh wow that looks pretty good doesn't it luna they're at the perfect height so you can just go mess with them all and make them not perfectly spaced, two inches apart, both vertically and horizontally. And there's our six Thomas Kincaid canvases hung above the couch there, where we watch, of course, Disney Plus, probably the Lego movie, and, you know, Lego, Star Wars, Marvel, DC, all the good stuff. Not Dirty Dancing. <laughs> but then uh, you can see we've got some space on either side and above so that we can hang more. I would think we could probably do four more on either side, so two by two on either side. So that's uh, eight, and then we could do one more row above. So we could fit a lot on here. Can you imagine if we had it all done and it was all different Disney Thomas Kincaid photos covering the entire space? I just think it would look fantastic and I'm thrilled and so is Jose that uh, we were able to get those hung today. So Jose's been helping a lot in the Lego room lately and we got to this little two foot table and that's her workstation there. Because typically I'm behind the desk and doing stuff on the computer or live streaming, etc. So what we always do is just pass her part bin so she can work on her projects. 
And those part bins usually end up on the ground because there's nowhere else to put them. We're limited on space down here based on the size of the city. So it's nice to get this little uh, part organizer here or this little 10 drawer rolling cart because it'll actually reduce the amount of work we have to do every day because putting this away and taking all this stuff out every single day actually takes a large chunk of time. So I'm excited to build this little thing here so we can improve her little workstation. Okay, so we've got the contents of our little Bricklink order unpacked. It came from Brick Lord's Tea Chest here in Edmonton, who's a huge Bricklinker. We've got all this black brick here so we can create another one of our large brick head displays. This should be all the black brick we need, I think, I hope. Also, we got all of these brown and tan cylinders. That's gonna be for building our monkey gymnasium. We're thinking if we use pillars of cylinders with some snot bricks, we can create a pretty cool looking gymnasium for the monkeys in our zoo. She said I needed some miscellaneous colors and tiles and I needed these cheese wedges right here for the go-kart track. Also, this is for more planters and bushes uh, throughout the entire Lego city. Got all sorts of slopes here for the Ninjago cliff edge. And we got these right here for mounting the tires that uh, protect the go-kart track, or I guess sort of act as barricades around the go-kart track. Uh, we got some miscellaneous, uh, what are these, like round circular tiles, quarter circle tiles. Those are great for uh, the quarter circle light bluish gray bricks that I found on the pad wall. It's great for topping those. And we're thinking we're gonna use those for fences in combination with these in the zoo. And also we've got some animals here. A huge amount of fish. We've got our seals for the seal display and also some birds for our bird attraction at the zoo. And then I've got these large panels here, which are one by six by five panels. And those are gonna replace all the panels here in the, well, not all of them, but uh, the ones that captivate the fish tank, those are all gonna be trans blue now. And we're gonna do that in this video as well. I think it's gonna provide a nice color contrast for when you're looking at it like this, the area on the right there will have some trans blue indicating water. And I think it's really gonna work well and give this building a little bit more of a color pop. So let's get that all converted right now. All right, so we made the uh, changes and additions to our aquarium. We changed all of the trans clear panels to trans blue. There are some that are missing there. I just have to order those. My local seller didn't have that. I think it looks a lot better. It adds a nice contrast to the building. We added our seals to their exhibit, but we've come to the realization that either we need a lot more seals or the exhibit is too large and it needs to be split into two. Maybe they need to share it with polar bears or something like that. And you know what, maybe that has to happen to all of the exhibits. We'll have to see when we get our hippos to see how big they are and also our penguins. Maybe these exhibits are too large. So I'm glad that we didn't put a whole lot more thought into it over the last few days here while we were building this. And it's good that we decided to wait until we get our animals to continue this mock. But it is coming along and we've made the changes. Jose also added more fish to the fish tank as we have a plethora of fish now. And we still have a bunch of extras as well for the uh, deep sea area in which Jose is working on right away as well. So it uh, looks a lot better and we're excited to continue progressing with our aquarium as we move forward into the future. This is also where those rounded tiles came into play. Oh yeah, we, we topped some of these things here with the rounded tiles. The problem with the rounded tiles is they don't clip into place, you see what I mean? If they were extended one more stud on either side or if they made a variation of the tile that did that, it would be nice for clipping um, the rounded quarter cylinder large panels into place. But that's the additions to the aquarium for the day. Oh yeah, so I got the cart made here and I'm feeling it. So now we can put like, you know, these are all the minifigs for the amusement park. So when we populate it, it's ready to go. These are all the figs for the city, so when you populate it, they're ready to go. And then Jose can fill the rest with other miscellaneous pieces in which she wants to use. I don't really want to move these in here because they're fragile, so they might break apart. But then as Jose's working, she can wheel this cart out and use all those bins for whatever she needs. I am going to put the bin right here, but those are all the boxes of the sets that I've been meaning to review. 
And I've left them there as a reminder for me to review. And as you can see, I uh, have a lot of reviews to do. <laughs> but I prefer vlogging. That's just my style. Sweet. So that's perfect. Fits right there. Nice. Beauty. I just uh, swept away the mess. <laughs> no, I shouldn't be doing that. I am Buzz Lightyear. But yeah, that's a perfect little fit for the cart right there. Then whenever Jose needs it, just bust it out and away she goes. So holy crow, what a day. You know, we uh, picked up the brick link order. We got those pictures fixed and we also hung them. Uh, we dealt with some stuff with the rental property. Checked out a sweet train yard on the way to pick up the uh, brick link order there. Had some delicious ice cream. Uh, fixed the aquarium. Went to Michael's. Got a frame. Oh yeah, Jose's got a frame that Winnie the Pooh thing. Sorry, I left that out of the vlog here. It's just been sort of going all day here. Now I'm scheduling a live stream so the, the day goes on. Uh, also, uh, we got that cart built. So Jose is really excited about that. Uh, improve her workstation there. So it's really good. So we had a lot of fun today. Thanks for stopping by as always. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out here on our channel. Thank you so much and take care. Bye.